There is one thing that the media can be sure about. Trump will cause bad news. And bad news is what brings in the money for the media companies. Well, India being such an economic success for the past 20 years, and being the fastest growing major economy in the world in 2018, that was a bit annoying to the international media. Because that is good news. And it really doesn't sell advertising space. That kind of good news, it won't last for long. You can publish it only once. It doesn't get any spectacular follow-up or backlash. There is no sensation or drama. So it doesn't make the media money. So now that there appears to be no outrage about the Kashmir situation among world leaders, the media now seem to have decided that India needs another crisis that will prolong for a few years if possible. So let's talk India into an economic crisis. It doesn't matter if it exists or doesn't exist in reality. The media will make it a reality if needed. Have you seen the news lately? Dear viewers from India, you appear to be in a severe economic crisis. You know why? because your economy will grow about 6% this year. 6% economic growth? How is that a crisis? The West hasn't seen sustainable economic growth of 6% for about 50 years. Why call it a crisis? What is the media trying here? So let's bring in some reliable data. Here are the official statistics for the Indian economic growth for the past six years. Look, in 2013, there is a peak in the Indian economic growth of over 7%. Wow, that's huge. Way to go, India. Oh, but wait, then the Indian economy is slowing down. And then in the first quarter of 2014, the economic growth of India falls to only 5.3%. Is that an economic crisis? No, of course not. It's a fluctuation. Whenever economies grow exponentially for years and years in a row, like India does, and like no other country in the West has experienced for 50 years, then it grows with ups and downs, highs and lows. Exponential economic growth hardly ever is a continuous process. It has fluctuations. That is very normal. Well then, let's continue watching the graph. Look, look, the Indian economy is gaining momentum again. And then in the second quarter of 2016, there is no less than 9.4% economic growth in India. It's a true miracle of development. But then, uh oh, oh, look what's happening. In the second quarter of 2017, economic growth in India has declined to only 6%. Oh dear, an economic crisis. No, of course not. No country in the West has experienced sustainable growth of 6% for 50 years. It's a marvelous achievement by India. Its economy grows more than 8%. Yeah, it's a miracle. It was the fastest growing major economy in the whole world. Oh, but wait, then what? Oh dear, look at the first quarter of 2019. Indian economic growth has declined to only 5.8%. An economic crisis? No, of course not. I've said it five times now and I will repeat it five times more if needed. No country in the West has experienced a sustainable economic growth of 5.8% in 50 years. How is that a crisis? It's ridiculous. If the United States of America would achieve that, it would be seen as a miracle. If India does it, the media call it an economic crisis. For example, the official economic growth rates of some major Western countries in 2018. United States, 2.8%. Less than half the economic growth of India when it's in a crisis. Germany, 1.4%. United Kingdom, 1.3%. Italy, 0.3%. 8% media calling the decline in economic growth in India a crisis is ridiculous.